I'm going to show you how to fix a door jam. Depending on the finish of the door jam, you might go about fixing it a different way. If it's been painted, you can glue or bog the crack. As we're in this case, we've got a stained timber, so we're going to have to replace the whole timber there. The tools I require for this job are a hammer, chisel, some nail pullers, a wrecking bar, a screwdriver set, a multi-tool, some packers, obviously my safety gear, a level and the actual timber jam here to replace. The first step is to remove any of the door hardware that's still on there. Now that the door hardware's off, the next step is to take the door strip off. The key tool to use will be a chisel, and a handy tip is to use the flat edge of the chisel against the actual strip so you don't damage it. It's important when you are pulling off with your hammer to go around the nails, because if you go too far out it can split the timber. So make sure you get your hammer right under the nails. Aha! Now I've got the door strip off, I'm just going to remove some of the nails that are left behind. The next step now is to remove the architraves. I do this the same way as I did the door strip, from the bottom up, nice and slow, and using the chiselled straight edge against the actual architrave. I've got a really big nail in here, which is a really good time to use the wrecking bar. Now that we've got our door strip and architraves off, we can replace the actual door jam here. I'm going to remove the door jam just like I did with the door strips and architraves, but because we're not keeping this piece, we don't need to be as precious about the way we pull it off. Now we've got the door jam mostly pulled off, I need to get it disattached from the top here. So there's going to be nails coming down through the top. One of the easiest ways is to slowly pull it back and rock it to get the nails loose. Now that we've got the door jam off, we just need to remove these nails that are left here. For that, you'll just need a pair of nippers. A handy tip for this as well, so you don't mark the reveal that we're going to leave, is to use a scrap piece of timber here, and then you can literally grab the nippers there and roll, and that way you'll damage the scrap bit, but not the actual piece we're keeping. Now that we've got our door jam removed, we can add a new one in. I've got one here that we've pre-cut to the right size. I'm going to need to mark the top door jam here with a notch for this door jam piece to slide into. Now that I've got a mark on this side, I need to do the exact same mark on the back side and then just draw a line joining the two. Now I've got my line drawn, I just need to cut that little piece out using a multi-tool. Now that I've cut through here, I just need to chisel out from the side so I've got a nice square piece for the door jam to slide into. There we go. The next step now is to measure out where our packers are going to be. So typically you do 100 mils from the top and 100 mils from the bottom, and then your middle packer will be where your door hardware sits. To get the middle packer, I'm just going to measure on the current door where the handles sit, and then I'm just going to mark it on the door jam here. Right there. I now need to make some packers to put behind the door jam. I simply got some strip here that I'm just going to use the width of the timber here, and I'm just going to snap it to the right length. Depending on the size of the frame versus the door jam, you'll need about two to three packers per nail hole, so probably about 10 to 12 for the job. Now I'm ready to put the door jam in, it's time to set the packers up. Um, key thing is to start at the top and work your way down, and a handy little tip is the notch that we've cut out is a good measure for the back of the first one, so I can just put some packers up here to work out how many I need, and it looks like three is a good start. I'll just put them onto that first line I've made and nail them in. To nail this in, I just need some three inch jolt head nails. I now need to pack the bottom and just to check that the door jam's straight is I'll just use a level to check it's the same as the top. Yeah, and that's spot on. So that was spot on, I can just now nail these packers in. Now that I've got the top and bottom packers in, it's now time to nail the door jam in. I just start by sliding this in here and holding it against the packers. Before you nail it, it's important to note that you're flush with the plasterboard so that when you go to put your architrave on, it's, it sits proud and flush. When I nail this, I just leave it proud so that if I do need to make any adjustments along the way, it's not too hard to pull out. Now that I've got the top and bottom packers nailed, it's time to get the middle right. 
Um, I'll use the same amount of packers as the last time. So put the three in there. Now that I've got them nailed, I'll just double check again with the level and then I can nail them off properly. Looks good. I'll just give it one last check. And that's level and it's not rocking. Last step is just to check that the door closes properly and there's an even gap in the middle. Check that now. And that's good. And the final step is just to put the door strip back on and refix the architrave. And then that's how you repair a damaged door jam.